Lesson 13 for September 21 through 27, A Community of Servants, read by Dr. Percy Harold. Wednesday, September 25, Grace Within the Church. At the beginning of the book of Job, God points to Job and his faithfulness to him as a demonstration of the goodness of God's ways and his dealings with fallen humanity. We read about that in Job 1 verse 8. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil? It is remarkable that God allows his reputation to hang on how his people live on this earth. But Paul expanded this faith God has in some of his saints to include the community of the church in Ephesians 3.10. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. Question. Read Ephesians Chapter 2, verse 19. What do you think is included in the idea of describing the church community as the household of God? How should this description influence how the organized church operates? Ephesians 2, verse 19. Now, therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. In any community or organization, how that entity treats its members reflects the foundational values of the group. As the household of God, the body of Christ and the community of the Spirit, the Church has the highest of callings to live out and live up to. For God is not a God of disorder, but of peace, as in all the congregations of the Lord's people, we read in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33. The values of justice, grace and love, as demonstrated in God's justice, grace and love, should govern all that happens within the church, from local church communities to the worldwide church organisation. These principles should guide church leaders in how they lead, make decisions and care for the least of these among the church community. They also should guide how we resolve the disputes that arise from time to time among members. If we can't treat those among us with fairness and dignity, how are we going to do that with others as well? When the church organisation employs people, it should be a generous employer, valuing people before any other consideration and working against unfair treatment of members. Churches should be safe places, with all church members doing what they can to protect the vulnerable. And as we see in the early church, members of the church community should be especially prepared to give to support those of their church family who are suffering or in need. Jesus gave this as a command, saying that this would not only transform the community of faith, but it also would demonstrate the reality of their faith to those looking on. In John 13, verses 34 and 35, A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. You have been listening to a reading of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide by Dr. Percy Harold from Queensland, Australia. This service is brought to you by Hope Channel, the Sabbath School Department and Christian Services for the Blind. Remember, God is always faithful.